School of Entrepreneurs gives the opportunity for people of Bath to pitch forward their ideas to raise some money for sporting family change. There are going to be those that will... Hello, my name is Lynn Fernquist. I'm editor of the Bath Chronicle, the Somerset Guardian and the Froome Standard. Hi, I'm Jonathan Wynn, Director of Property at St John's Hospital. Hello, I'm Lauren Morgan Brinkhurst, MBE, former Mayor of the City of Bath and Chairman of the Council, and I run an events and PR company in the City of Bath. And I followed her, <laughs> and I'm currently the Chairman of the Council. I'm Martin Veal. Hi, I'm Sophie, um, and I'm looking for investment in sporting family change involvement in the Bath Half Marathon. So Sporting Family Change is a needs-led organisation that works in our local community, so around Bath and the local area. So we use sport to empower, inspire and motivate local families into making positive lifelong changes. So we work and support um, disadvantaged and disabled young people and their families in our local area uh, to develop and nurture their strengths and to discover and build on their own successes. So our current um, SFC programme is the HOPE programme. So this is health opportunities through physical education. So this is um, using sport as quite a powerful mentoring tool for these people. Um, so using a sporting event, we can um, encourage these people to engage in a healthy and active lifestyle. Um, we can discover their potential and let them experience a competition, um, which also enable them to experience elements of could be teamwork, um, self-discipline or achievements, um, and to let them feel part of their local community. So the Bath Half Marathon is obviously quite a prestigious event and something they wouldn't normally be able to take part in. What we hope to do is um, give 10 places to runners to run the Bath Half Marathon as well as 10 places in the family fun run. So this is a one mile event that also takes place on the same day. So we would offer um, entry free of charge to these runners and then in return we used to ask them to raise money for SFC, which goes directly back into the family short break programme. So this is a programme that allows families to uh, take part in a family, healthy, active family weekend and relieves their normal duties of care within their family. So if you turn on to the fourth page, uh, goes through some of the expense um, that would be required for SFC to be part of Bath Half Marathon. So the predominant expense is the runner entry fee. So that's £46 per person for entry. Um, and then runner t-shirts we will do. So for all 20 runners in the half marathon and the half and the sorry, and the family fun run. Um, which is actually quite a good way of showcasing the charity as these people run around the city. Uh, administration fee, so for any background work that went on, so entering these runners into the, into the half marathon, um, communicating with them throughout the process um, and keeping them involved as we go along. And then entry into the family fundman as well, giving a total expense of £900 to SFC. Okay, so the funds raised, so we've asked each runner running the half marathon to raise £190, so 10 runners bring us to £1,900, um, with a total profit there of £1,000, allowing us to send one of these families on one of these short break activity programmes. So why should you invest? So the funds raised go directly to the charity in helping your local community. It's a very um, personable and transparent program. So some of these runners running the half marathon um, will actually meet a lot of these families that are involved in the family fun run who they're supporting. So they'll actually meet these people that they are directly helping. It's a project um, that we can transfer to any sporting event. So now we have the template in place. We can um, use these communications and um, fundraising initiatives we set up and use this for large marathons or cycling events or any small local um, town events that these people can then engage in. Uh, it's also a very simple method of recognition in the local area. So as I said before, runners wearing t-shirts, running around the city with hundreds of spectators. Um, such as the Bar Park Marathon, we would have 
um, a meeting point in the runners village where thousands of people um, are walking around before and after the event and you can actually showcase some of what we already do there um, and the addition of gift aid so when we do online fundraising you can actually add gift aid um, giving us an extra 15% on what we've already managed to raise so with your help we can support our local community um, to engage in a healthy lifestyle and um, <coughs> to benefit from the uh, multitude, um, the multitude of things that this will inevitably bring with it. Thank you. Any questions? What will you do <coughs> to ensure that the people who go on this are physically fit enough and capable of a doing the fun run, or yeah. b doing the half marathon? Obviously, the half marathon will be more important. So these local events are obviously for anybody in the community to enter. So it's kind of on their back really to enter the event as it would be for anybody else. I think it, working with the people quite closely, we'd be able to make a judgment on whether they were you know, completely unfit to be able to do that. Um, but we can offer, um, leading up to some of these things, we work with them anyway in health and physical activity. So we could offer support and training throughout if we knew they were, you know, they wanted to take part in one of these events. So what would your minimum time scale be? Depends what it is. Well, for instance, um, someone comes in six weeks to the uh, half marathon, are they yeah. going to be fit enough to do the half marathon in six weeks? It depends what they want to achieve, really. You know, some, someone might just want to walk around, so it, it depends oh, on the circumstances. I don't care concentrate on the cost. Okay. There's quite a bit. There's quite a bit there. Sort of spending nine hundred pounds and giving yeah. nineteen hundred pounds back. Um, of the nine hundred pounds, there, there's probably quite a bit you know, to look at in terms of. Okay, how can you mitigate some of that cost? What can you get for free? What could you get with partnerships from other organisations? Yeah, Obviously, definitely. the big point is having SFC here. Yeah. But you know, what can sit around and do it? Yeah, so obviously what, what we hope to do and, and what we actually are able to do at the moment is to get um, local businesses on board as well so they can help support and maybe supply some of these things for free, such as the T-shirts. So, yeah, we hope to put a bit of money into the, um, into the charity, expand it a bit more, and then hopefully get more people on board as well and all these things will start flowing to help us grow. And what would you do to ensure some of the publicity that you were trying to get? You mentioned that by wearing the T-shirts, then they would be visible. Have you approached anybody who could give you, could guarantee you publicity to help your cause? Um, no, but that's something we could definitely look into. Mm -hmm. um, showcasing in the Runners Village, um, hopefully amongst other charities, so hopefully have quite a lot of interest from the public and maybe people in other charities who support a lot of charities anyway. So just involvement through that sense, but that's something we could look at developing. Yeah, I think it complements other mm. business relationships, yeah. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you've been quite a busy person travelling around. Obviously there's been quite a bit of challenge in terms of timing of setting this up. Yeah. Now what, what is the magic question, what could work better next time? Um, Okay, yeah, I mean, uh, more engagement with these people that are on board. Um, a lot of them, particularly the fun runners, um, work with us anyway, um, and they're part of the programme. But just to engage um, in some of those external runners that are actually uh, running to raise money directly for the charity, maybe offering um, training throughout the process just to get them really on board with everything we do. Have you also thought about post, post the marathon, and um, rather than you know build on the momentum of those people taking part, and maybe <coughs> people who start to recognise the organisation? Have you thought about how you might then continue to engage with them, plus the maybe the business community as well, to to build on it for the following year? Yeah. So um, hopefully, um, well, this is going to be successful. And all these people are already on board and people that we've brought in they wouldn't normally <coughs> benefit from this kind of thing um, hopefully they experience what it's like to be part of such a big um, prestigious event um, and then hopefully want to continue 
um, with FSC and support them in any other events in the local community that we get involved in in the future. How do you intend to, um, or do you intend to tell those personal journeys, those personal stories, the type of thing that uh, Im would like to put in the paper, you know, the story of how that person starts, goes through the race, and this is what they've achieved. Yeah. How do you intend to do that? Yeah, I mean, we that's something we already do. There's, there's video diaries um, of certain families or children that have already been on a journey with SFC. Um, and taken part in the programmes and actually developed themselves, which which you can see just from what they've already done. So this this is a really good thing as well to be able to bring these people on board and actually document some of their journey, maybe they take part in different things. So yeah, we're already onto that and that's something that can definitely happen off the back of this. Have you thought what you did touch on some other events that you've looked at as possible ones to, to replicate this. Are there any in particular that you've targeted? Um, nothing yet. Obviously you have to be something quite local, so you'll see what comes up in the summer. Um, and hopefully all these people that have been involved are still willing to take part in what's next. Do you think Jimmy will do a half marathon? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> do you do a quarter marathon looking at him? <laughs> <laughs> or an eighth marathon for me. I think you could eat a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> <I have. laughs> I think uh, I think I yeah, I'm i sort of very happy with this. Um I think I think the the big question is what what do you want from us? Yeah, so what we're looking for is um the investment of nine hundred pounds. Uh, which would then relieve the charity of that expense uh, and hopefully be a huge success and be able to work with more families on the short break programme um, and help it really expand from here. Do you intend to write it up as a, an example of best practice if it works? The programme? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's I don't know if you can say it's best practice if it's the first thing we do, but we can obviously have that template in place. And then we can learn from there. As I said, it's quite easy to replicate across a sporting event. Now we've done it once and now it works. So. Good. That's great. It's really Thanks. good, really good presentation. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Thank you. I'm I'm um, in. I'm in. But as I always with me, there's a but. Mm -hmm. I do think there are opportunities that have been touched on where for the next event, mm. you could take it to the to the next level, and I think mm -hmm. maybe we could Enough. help you with that. Yeah, I can't believe I've just committed to to more, but <laughs> I think. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. You do the press, and I'll help well, with think, business links. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. yes. I think this is a great start, mm -hmm. and there's lots to build on, mm -hmm. and I yeah. think. Next year you're doing the same thing. You could be even. It could be even more exciting than this is now. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I think agree. you've got the experience here around the table of people who've done uh, things that touch on what you're doing and can give you a huge amount of help and assistance in moving it forward. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Very much. Well Great done. Great presentation. Yeah. Oh. Very confident. good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Was that nerve wracking? Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that.